Okay, this one is about hitchhiking, as the title suggests. I've been hitchhiking fairly regularly now here in Romania. I'm not sure I ever hitchhiked in America, but um, as I have traveled around the world, I find that in most countries, pretty much all the countries I've been in, it's safer to hitchhike than it is in America. So why is that? How can America be so rich and powerful? yet not be safe. So I tell people here about this and they find it hard to believe. I tell them that in America it's either too dangerous or it's illegal or both to hitchhike. And by the way when I was in uh, Canada, when I lived in Quebec, they had just changed the laws to start making it illegal to hitchhike in Quebec. They had already made it illegal to hitchhike in Ontario, but now they made it illegal to hitchhike in Quebec too and people in Quebec said they're telling me that Quebec almost always follows the same laws as Ontario but a little bit later and the Ontario and the English speaking part of Canada obviously is more closely connected to the British culture and the French speaking part is obviously more connected to the French culture and in France uh, they're less controlling than they are in England I don't know if you know that but once you start traveling, if you've been to both France and England, and you talk to French and British people, you quickly can notice that. Also, something else about hitchhiking is that, um, well, two more things. Uh, let me make, I'll stop this for a second to make a note. Okay, the first thing I was going to say is that I met this girl last year who was 17, almost 18. But she told me that I think when she was 16, she and a friend of hers hitchhiked, a female friend of hers, hitchhiked to uh, all the way to Spain from Estonia. And then I met another Estonian who, when she was about 17, she hitchhiked with a guy that she just met through the internet, I think down to Spain also. <laughs> and these kinds of things would be inconceivable in America. And this, again, this is why I'm making these videos, because I want to inform people in America and people around the world the difference between... America and Europe. Um, let's see. The, oh, yeah. The other one was that yesterday when I was speaking with Alexandra, I was talking about how this idea of hitchhiking, how it's safer to hitchhike here in Romania. And um, I said, I've been noticing that the people who give me rides are more often the poor people than the rich people. And I said, what do you think? Do you think it's more likely I would get picked up by a guy in a Mercedes or a guy in a Dacia? And by the way, a Dacia is the kind of the Romanian national card. It was sort of like the Ford of Romania, as Ford was in maybe the 1930s or 40s for America, basically pretty much the only car. But now Dacia has a lot of old Dachas that um, are very cheap. So anyhow, she said, oh, well, obviously, you're more likely to be picked up by a guy in a Dacia. And I wonder why is that? Actually, I have got some theories about why that is. But, um, for example, I think someone in a Mercedes is too worried that, well, there's a few reasons. One, you might get the car dirty. Two, you might steal something from him or from inside the car. Three, he's just too busy to slow down. He's in too much of a hurry to slow down and pick someone up. And four, maybe he's just not open-minded enough to uh, meet anyone it's outside of his, let's say, comfort zone. I've gotten rides from from some interesting people. I think it was uh, Anna who told me that hitchhiking is better than traveling by bus, not only because it's free by bus or by train, but um, because you meet a lot of interesting people. And this is true. I, I won't take the time now to list all the different people I've gotten rides with, but it's definitely interesting. The other day, for example, I... Uh, I decided to try to hitchhike all the way from Brasov out to this little village I'm staying in named Volcelli. And um, I think I got three rides by three different people. And the last guy was, uh, he looked a little bit rough, like a factory worker, but uh, he actually had a hammer on the floor of the passenger side. And he moved it out of the way when I got in, and I must admit I was a little bit worried he might take the hammer and like, threatened me or crashed me over the head and steal my stuff, but he didn't. <laughs> okay, that's the end of this video. He turned out just to be an electrician, I think he said. 
he couldn't speak in English, but well, I'm getting to know enough Romanian now that we could have a mini conversation. They always find it very interesting and humorous when they pick up an American hitchhiking on their roads here.